wilsonhomes.com and today I decided to do a vlog. The day is half over but I decided to just film for over the weekend so it is not that bad that the day is half over. Luke has Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays off but I decided to film what's going on on the homestead over this over this weekend, this Friday and Saturday. This will be the first vlog in our new house, so I'm excited to show you guys more of the house, more of the homestead, more of what we're doing, and so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So, kind of messy behind me, but I need to clean the kitchen. So, so far this morning, I have been baking bread. I like to make einkorn sandwich loaves, so I'm baking two loaves of bread in the oven right now. So that'll be nice for easy, easy meals for this weekend. It'll be especially good because we had ham last night for dinner so we can have ham sandwiches. Luke has been out in the west field putting up a fence. We're putting up a cross fence so that we can get some cows over here. We're going to be having my brother and sister-in-law's cows come and graze our pasture since we have 10 acres and we only have sheep and chickens and rabbits. They're not gonna eat. 10 acres of grass, so we're excited to have someone come bring their cows over here and eat up the grass and it's gonna help the pasture be even healthier. So we're just doing a fence across so that the cows can't get into where our rabbit colony is and that pasture is open to the road still. So we needed to fence something off so that they can't get on the road. So our neighbor is actually gonna bring over an auger so that Luke can more easily dig the holes for the wooden fence posts that he's doing, which is such a blessing that the neighbors are willing to help like that. It's gonna save Luke so much time. Right now he's out in the back yard moving our sheep. We have them in electric netting and they have a little hoop house shelter that Luke built for them and we move them every now and then once the grass is getting short enough we're rotating them around that little backyard so they can keep it grazed down. So that's what he's doing right now. Also just got a trampoline for the kids which I'm so excited about. My in-laws bought it for the kids so Luke is going to set that up after he's done moving the sheep I think and then I'm really excited for when the kids wake up from their naps and I can go set them out on the trampoline and let them play. We just got this new rooster. Someone was giving away a rooster and he's so pretty. So he was free. I think he's a cross between a silver laced something and on Rhode Island Red. But we have enough hens that we were wanting to get another rooster just to make sure they're all bred for when we hatch eggs. So he's getting along okay with the flock so far. He's definitely lower on the totem pole than our other older rooster. But we've been calling him Pretty Boy. And Pretty Boy and Goliath don't like each other, but they also have, you know, the whole 10 acre pasture to roam and the whole front yard. So they can avoid each other pretty easily. These chickens just help themselves to wherever they want to go. I got in three different orders that I've been very excited about. So I figured since I got them all in one day, I would go ahead and show you what things I got. I already opened it and I put them all in one box because yes, I could not even resist waiting. I opened them like while I was still outside checking the mail. So the first one is from Young Living. I've always been a doTERRA person, but lately I've started ordering things from Young Living because they have a lot of things that doTERRA doesn't such as Ningxia, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's the wolfberry drink that's full of anti antioxidants and it's really, really good. We just started that and then also CBD oil and doTERRA doesn't have a lot of extra things, which is fine. I love their oils and I'm still gonna be ordering their essential oils, but 
I started getting stuff from doTERRA that is like extra stuff that's not just essential oils. So they just had a sale on their CBD oils which apparently they've never had a sale before so I was like well that's exciting that that's happening right when I want to get into it anyway. So I got the citrus CBD oil. I also did order their gentle baby essential oil because my friend got me this gave me this bottle as a housewarming gift and I loved it so much and I was like well since I'm ordering from Young Living anyway it's not any extra shipping I'm just gonna get another bottle because I love that essential oil for pregnancy. I also did order their gentle baby essential oil because my friend got me this gave me this bottle as a housewarming gift and I loved it so much and I was like well since I'm ordering from Young Living anyway it's not any extra shipping I'm just gonna get another bottle because I love that essential oil for pregnancy. I also got their Valor essential oil roller bottle. I have heard so many good things about this blend and I really wanted to give it a try. So I did get two essential oils, their blends that doTERRA doesn't have. And then I will also be ordering more Nisha from Young Living when we need it next. So on to the doTERRA order. This was actually a free, the entire order was free because I've sold enough essential oils like to friends and family that I've earned enough rewards that I was able to get these three essential oils for absolutely free. So that's exciting. So the first one is just tea tree. We ran out of this. I don't know how I ran out. I'm normally really good at restocking my oils before I run out, but it was right when I wanted some for some acne. I was breaking out a little bit. I'm like, that's right when I ran out of tea tree. That's great. I also got their calmer restful blend. It's in a roller bottle, so it's gonna be really easy to just like carry around, roll on whenever I feel like I need to calm down or maybe the kids will need some. The other roller bottle I got is the Peace Blend. You know, some of these blends just seem like a really good idea to have around as a mother for you or your kids. So I got the three from Young Living, the three from doTERRA, and then these other two things are from Radiant Life. I absolutely love Radiant Life and I get some of my supplements there some from Amazon and different places, but I get my collagen supplement from Radiant Life. So this is a really good supplement. I've been using it for like forever and I really like it. I also have always gotten my magnesium oil from Radiant Life as well. I always got the, just the plain oil that you either spray on or you add it to, Jamie's trying to get the box or you add it to your own lotion. And I I have my Whipped Body Butter Magnesium Lotion on here. I will link the recipe. But I have been so busy with the move and all the things with this pregnancy I've been dealing with that I have not had the energy or the time to make a batch of body butter with it. So I've just been spraying it on and that's a lot more unpleasant because it stings more. I just saw they had an actual magnesium lotion that they sell so I decided that for this one time I'm just I was just gonna get the lotion and go the easy route which is very not me I like to do everything myself but I need to prioritize the most important things so I'm really excited to try this I I'm actually I'm gonna put it on really soon it's almost bedtime and I'm really excited to put some on before bed and see if it helps me sleep better so anyway that is my little health haul, I guess. It's always exciting when all this stuff comes on the same day or when I get any packages. Jimmy is trying to flush the toilet. What are you doing? So it's, he's gotten things out of the cabinet, as you can tell. Hi, Dinker. Hi. Are you excited? So it's almost bedtime. We've had, we just had dinner. And Luke and Sophia are out working on the fence again, but I'm sure they'll be in really soon and the kids will go to bed in about half an hour and we'll just have our normal evening and we'll get back at it tomorrow. Good morning guys. It's Saturday now. We just loaded all the kids up. Luke is getting a coffee refill and we're gonna head out to garage sales and we're gonna go get our silky chicks and we're gonna get feed and bedding and all this stuff. So we're gonna have a little car trip this morning and the kids are anxious to get going as you can tell.
got my box of baby chicks. the back of our car. Now that we're home from garage sales, we just got the chicks in the brooder and the kids in bed. So most of the stuff is planters. These plastic planters that you can start seeds in. And the majority of these were free, which is really exciting. Half of these were free. The other ones were like a dollar each. I love terracotta pots. There's a pitcher. There's a booster seat because Dimmy's going to be needing one really soon. We found a big set of enamelware and oh my gosh, these cups are so big, it's like not even funny. Like, you can't even tell like how big that is. Like here's the size of a regular enamelware and here's the size of this one. It's like a bowl. It's ridiculous. You can't even have coffee in there. But they were selling it as a set and it was gonna be $10 for the cups we wanted or $10 for everything, so <laughs> we took everything. I got Sophia a twin size bedspread. I really liked the style of this and the color and everything, it's just really minimal. Got some cute little farm plates to hang on the wall. We got a water jug for Luke's work and what is that called, a bumbo seat? We've never had one for our kids, but I've always wanted to try it. And it seems like since we'll have three and I only have two hands, it might be nice to have a, a bumbo seat for this baby to sit up on the counter away from the other kids. So we'll see how we like that. But just a little mini haul of our morning of garage sailing since it was the annual 50 mile garage sale in the valley. So we are also candling our eggs that are due to hatch in about a week. Just seeing if there are any that died or that are infertile that we missed last time because it's best to take them out right away. One of our new neighbors gave us a whole bunch of rhubarb and that was such a blessing because I had to transplant my rhubarb plant and so it's not really, I'm not gonna be harvesting anything off of it this year because it got kind of chopped in half. <laughs> I just wanna let it recover. But one of our new neighbors, they live like around the corner. We have so many great neighbors around here. It's such a blessing. But they gave us a whole pile of rhubarb. So me and Luke cut it up and froze it. And that will just be nice to have for rhubarb crisps and pies. And I might try to can some rhubarb strawberry jam. So I'm really excited about that. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we do in a weekend. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. We had a pretty full weekend. We got a lot of things done on our list. Let me know if you want to see more vlogs. They're definitely a lot of fun to do. So, and especially now that we're here on our dream homestead, I'm just really excited to show you guys what we're up to. So, thank you for watching again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>